the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. From the National Science Foundation, this is the Hour Report. The Ocean Observatory's initiative is now underway and will give scientists never-before-seen views of the world's oceans. With $106 million in initial NSFR funding, this cooperative agreement with the Consortium for Ocean Leadership will provide a vast network of undersea sensors for observing complex ocean processes. Cited in critical areas of the open and coastal ocean, the initiative will include four high-power global buoys, a regional network of electro-optical cabled nodes off the Pacific Northwest coast, and an expanded network of fixed and relocatable coastal observatories off the east and west coast. A cutting-edge cyber infrastructure will integrate and send the data from the marine instruments to the Internet and deliver a compelling ocean education experience. Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, the University of Washington, and the University of California at San Diego also play major roles in construction of the full network. Open access data streams from the air-sea interface through the water column to the sea floor will be openly available to educators and researchers in any discipline, making oceanography available to citizens and scholars who might never go to sea. Competent but mistaken eyewitness testimony is one of the leading causes of wrongful convictions in the U.S. A University of Virginia study suggests that older adults are not only more likely than younger adults to make errors remembering details that have been suggested to them, but are also more likely to have very high levels of confidence in their recollections. As older adults comprise an increasing proportion of the U.S. population, scientists fear there may be an increase in wrongful convictions based on highly confident but mistaken eyewitness testimony. To better understand the eyewitness memory of older adults, UVA researcher Chad Dawson received an NSFR grant to further investigate age-related increases in high-confidence errors. Lionfish, voracious carnivores, are on the move, invading the Bahamas and throughout the Caribbean. The predatory fish is killing small marine life at alarming rates, threatening everything from coral reef ecosystems to the local economies, many based on fishing and tourism. Backed by a $700,000 NSFR grant, Mark Hickson, his team at Oregon State University, and various collaborators are on the hunt to understand the effects of the invasion and to find a way to stop it. Lionfish have no natural enemies in the Atlantic and are rapidly eating their way through coral reef ecosystems. That's the Aura Report. I'm Dina Headley.